Would you look at that sexy bastard? What the hell is this? This, my friends, is the fabled Xbox 360 port of our favorite handheld game. Released about a year after the original hit the shelves, Super Mega Neo Climax throws a few changes into the mix, some new stages and reworked non-hero modes. The most noticeable, however, are these new graphics. Honestly, I don't care for them. Kind of takes away from the charm the faux retro style had in spades. You can, of course, switch over to the old graphics. But for the sake of differentiating this port with the original, and for a change of pace, I'm going to stick with the new graphics as we check out the differences between the versions. So, this is Hero 30. First real noticeable change is that they added a bit to level info, letting you know if you got all the equipment in a stage, recruited all possible allies, and found branching path, respectively. Pretty useful information. Our first new stage is found pretty early on, so let's go check it out. Oh man, it has been a while since I've played a Hero 30 stage. It's been too long since I've heard such cheerful music. This stage is delightfully normal, which is a given considering it is the new third stage of the game. Yohei there needs something from us, and offers his assistance in return. Ah, memories of the good old days. Unfortunately, Hero isn't as much of a murder machine as it used to be, seeing as I'm using equipment I haven't touched since the second episode or so. Remember when we used to have to grind to beat enemies? Thankfully, it doesn't take much to muscle our way past this goblin. You can take him out easily at level 7. Then you're greater than evil at level 8. I am just not used to these low numbers at all anymore. Yohei is nothing to write home about. Since he's a new addition to the game, he doesn't show up in the final stage, where you meet up with all your old party members again. A bit of a missed opportunity there, if you ask me. Well, with a ship, we could just go and fight the Evil Lord and get this stage over with. But, there's an entirely useless weapon for us to get in this stage first. The Boom Sword is a megaphone, and it will kill the Evil Lord in this stage in a single blow. Does it kill anything else in the game in one hit? I honestly don't know. I've never tried. Does anyone remember if there are any other enemies in the game that have great hearing?
exciting stage if there ever was one. And after that, you don't see another new stage in this mode until all the way near the end at Quest 25. Treasure Land. You guys may remember this as a stage where we rescued Scorpio. Didn't I say there was a new stage? Well, first we play this stage out as normal. After we check out all the caves, you go back to the cave Scorpio is in, and there's a secret hidden here. Other than that, stage is exactly the same. Netting that time gem, however, brings us all the way up here. Now, call me crazy, but I have a feeling I'm going to need the Dragon Lance for this stage.
well, that wasn't nearly as emotional as traversing the map, re-recruiting everybody one by one. This stage, and the ones after it, are the replacement for another goddess. That Valhalla Knight base stage. Another goddess is nowhere to be found in Super Mega Neo Climax, and I'm not entirely sure how I feel about that. Sure, Another Goddess was very long, very involved, and very grindy, but this short story arc kind of comes out of nowhere. This immediate stage doesn't really represent the coming stages, this is more of an intro to them, and boy does it show. There's really nothing to do in this stage except fight random monsters. The map seems huge, but a lot of it is blocked off for the time being. Once you defeat all of the I am here to block your path monsters, an optional one appears over in the west. And by west I mean east, I am terrible with directions. If you're a psychic like me and know to bring the Dragon Lance, the treasure behind it is yours. It's kinda sad that Balmung, the best weapon in the game, got so easy to get. It feels a little less unique, you know? Just what are the Time Beasts? Well, if they sound like MacGuffins to you, you aren't far off from the truth. 